Okay, I'm going to do a bit of a walk around of the Wattscraft trout fishing boat and then I've got some videos of it in action after this. So at the front you've got a pop-up cleat. Heavy duty bow eye. And I've got a second one down there to suit this trailer but that could be removed if it needed to be. Got two planing strakes on the front here. At the front we've got the door. The bimini. Five horse Honda. Patrolling or emergencies. Pretty mint condition. On an outboard bracket there. So it's a long leg outboard, 20 inch outboard. And here we've got the jet unit with the trim. The outboard's plumbed in. The outboard's plumbed into the fuel line here. So that's plumbed into the main boat fuel tank so you don't need an auxiliary tank. We've got a towing eye here for water skiing, two bilge pump outlets, another pop-up cleat there on the other side. This is the Bimini attachment, you can unscrew this screw here, take it off. It's the water telltale for the cooling water, you can feel it from the driver's seat to make sure you got water. Go around the other side first. The vent for the fuel tank, it's got a one-way valve in it so the fuel doesn't weep out when the tank gets under pressure. That's a fuel filler cap, handrail for getting onto the boat, another big handrail for towing or tying down there on the back. Southern Jet Pump. New in 2000, December 2018, but it's seen a bit of salt, so it looks pretty second hand. A few barnacles. There's the pump in there, don't know what you can see in there. Bung. Fold down transducer for the fish finder. Sand trap, sand dump outlet. And you can see here, exhaust outlet comes down when it goes into the water even at planing speeds it keeps it nice and quiet so on the engine cover you've got removable hinges you can take the whole thing off if you're working on it really good for access now if I was going to finish this boat I'd put Ultralon deck tread in here as the seat and the deck for fitting on just haven't got round to it yet handle The engine cover up. We've got Ortex sound paneling in there. Got more flotation foam there. We've got uh, side pockets for gear here. It's got a uh, motorsport battery, 400 and something cranking amps. Works sweet. Isolator, oil filter with cooler plate there. It's got the oil temp sender for the oil temp, haven't hooked that up yet, but the gauge is there and the sender's there, just needs to be wired up. Alternator, thermostat, raw water cooling system, raw water and engine water mix in here, and go out via the gooseneck, out the back of the boat through the silicon bellows, back of the boat's filled with foam, and there's this SS steering pulley up there, auto bilge down there, engine drain valve here, drain it out if you've been in the salt, you can put a hose on there to back flush it with fresh water if you've been in the salt, otherwise just leave it closed. Drain on the sand trap too there, same valve, reverse, stop air inlet, Triple S sand trap, in tank fuel filter and pump. It's all in the tank, it's real quiet. Turn it on, you can hear it. Oh. A 
DSPA fuel fire suppression system. So if any fire gets on that wick, if you're out at sea, this will flood the engine bay with fire suppressant and hopefully save the boat. You can actually wire in a switch to activate it here too if you want. Factory ECUs in here. Basically the factory wiring with the unnecessary wires removed. This is the variable valve timing SR20. It's got valve solenoids there. It's got this is the um, throttle cable, adjustable fuel pressure regulator to get the um, it's tuned once the engine went into the boat to get the right fuel air ratio. Oil's there. It's just had fresh oil. Had fresh oil when it into the went into the boat, and now it's done. 26 hours. I put fresh oil in there. All pretty easy to get to. Adjustable engine mounts. Big bilge pump in the back there. Mesh air filter. There's the inlet for the outboard off the tank there. Never gets any petrol fumes or anything. The tank, like I say, has got two one-way, two one-way valves on the breather. One one-way valve in. The another one-way valve going out again. There's the SS steering pulley there. Another side pocket. Seats are got bolsters. And they also rotate. And the driver's seat goes has a front and back adjustment. Got triple S trim. Reverse. Normal key. Got the alternator and the oil light up there. Water temp. RPMs. The RPMs actually coincide with the speed, roughly. So about 40, 40, 4,000 RPM is about 40 kilometers an hour. 5,000 RPM is about 50 kilometers an hour. Got a bank of switches. This one's the backlight for the gauges. This is for the manual bilge. This is for the accessories over this side, like the fish finder. Fish finder's a Ray Marine something or other. I'll get the specs off the back there. Put them on the auction at some stage. Just let that boot up. You've got storage here. A couple of removable cup holders. Here. And there. Walk through. I'll show you the, the bimini. Opening the bimini. It's got a all done in some, teal sunbrella fabric. Really quality fabric and upholstery. So if you're putting the putting the biminis up, up is really easy. You just shut the engine cover. Literally just pull it up. Oh. Unwrap it. It's usually not rolled up like that. And it's up. And here you just put the little, put the nice yacht braid into the clam cleat there. Same thing on the other side. It's usually easier if it's not been put away in a silly way. And you've got the mini. Nice and shaded. Go right to the back so you can get an idea. The coverage. It's pretty nice on a sunny day. that bimini's up and simply walk through like that to the front the fishing rod holders here spot for an anchor here up under here is flotation foam if you can see that so the whole front nose is full of foam blocks of foam, not pouring foam. 
There's this little shelf under here and the fire extinguisher normally lives there. There's a SS steering boss, stubby one, the Wattscraft finger throttle. Pretty idiot proof to drive. Shut that. Yeah, I'll put some video of it in action up now. There's a footrest down there, you can see, holds things forward. Find this storage under here. This is a um, hardwood ply with oil treating, so it's looking a bit faded at the moment, but you can just put more oil on it and it comes up good as new. And yeah, here's the view out the back. Really find out the whole 